guys, my name is Bharat and I'm the creator of Bharat in Germany. This is episode one, season two of A Day in Life of a Student in Germany, where we show you lifestyles of students studying in different German universities. This season is brought to you in collaboration with Study in Germany Land of Ideas, which is a campaign conducted by DAD, the German Academic Exchange Service. In this episode, we have Elisaveta with us, who is a student from Russia and who is currently studying at Munich. Let's take a look. Hi guys. My name is Elisaveta and before I share my day of life uh, here in Germany I would like to tell you a little bit about myself. I moved to Germany two years ago from Russia and uh, now this is my third semester of a uh, master program in the University of Applied Science Munich. My specialization here is uh, Micro and Nanotechnik. I also have already one master degree uh, from Russia with a slightly different specialization, namely instrumentation. Why do I actually need another degree and uh, why did I move to Germany? To be honest, I didn't plan this move from Russia at all, but it so happened that um, my husband worked here, uh, he's also Russian, and uh, I moved uh, to Munich uh, as a wife. Of course, first time here was very difficult, it was a lot of stress, it was a challenge to me. I wanted uh, to work here but I didn't speak German at all and my English is far from perfect and also I was afraid of a stereotype that a girl in a technical field just cannot work. I was I was really scared with this and enrolling in university just solved uh, many of my problems at once like uh, socialization, the language and uh, acquiring a new knowledge. I'm really happy I, I start to study here and uh, maybe by my example I can uh, help uh, other people who are moving or already moved uh, to Germany and uh, show that it's not so scary and uh, it's, it's very interesting and excited to study and be here. Let me show you how it looks like. Good morning, world. It's time to wake up. outside. The thing I would like to advise uh, people who, uh, who are coming from warm and light country to get warm and non-synthetic things because after you go into public transport such as subway for example it's going to be very hot and you're going to sweat and then you go out to the such cold weather and you can catch a cold really quickly. Yeah also of course I don't know take vitamin D or eat some fruits. So and now I'm gonna visit um, market with a fresh uh, products, local products and then to cook my breakfast. It's officially autumn today, time to take umbrella. So usually my breakfast is something like eggs and avocado, but today I'm lucky. We have this uh, market nearby and uh, I'm gonna buy something for a typical Bayern breakfast. This is a Weisswurst and pretzel. Haben Sie noch Pretzel? 
So all these trees, this is a chestnut and sometimes you can find a, a tree with the chestnuts which, are, which you can eat actually but uh, let me teach you how to differentiate from, from different chestnuts which, uh, which you actually cannot eat So for example You see they are everywhere So for example this one you cannot eat so this is very um, like rund, like a, like a bowl. This one you cannot eat. And usually the trees, the leaves of the trees, it, it looks like a palm. Like a palm. And so the chestnut you actually can eat. They, they look like a garlic with a bit with a small nail so if you find something like this you can collect it and make a dinner or lunch or something so this is my kitchen where I usually do my breakfast and Weisswursten this is something very very typical for Bayern and this is a pretzel and the German like to to eat it with everything like a sandwich so they cut it and they can put a butter or cheese and ham and, and so on so I like to cook this uh, biced boost <laughs> um, as a breakfast because in Bayern usually these sausages um, are made uh, at the early morning so people can eat them on breakfast and you don't need to boil them for a long time you just have to make them warm and it's done you just need the water here in Germany you can drink a tap water but I have to say that it contains a lot of calcium so be ready uh, it it make damage somehow your hair or your skin and usually I use a filter uh, to put it uh, and to make uh, to make a tea because this calcium has can also damage your your equipment you know so be ready. Yeah, and we just will wait for maybe 10 minutes and it will be done. Um, usually with a white sausage, uh, German um, drink a beer, but <laughs> I have a lecture after and also this is a Russian tradition, drink a tea. Yeah, no beer today. Let me show you quickly my uh, uh, study setup. So it looks like this. Yeah, just a table and a computer. Yeah, some notes. I prefer to print them because I like to read a paper. I don't like digital things. <laughs> the, the books and, and so on. Of course, last semester and this semester, uh, all the lectures we have are online due to the, the corona crisis. And uh, at least at this semester we will have opportunity to do a lab classes uh, in person. Of course we have some restrictions, like no more than two students in the lab, and we have to wear masks and so on and so on. But this is, uh, yeah, this is already a step forward. The lectures normally are given in the program Big Blue Button. Uh, some uh, professors uh, also record lectures and upload them in Moodle. This is a special platform where we can download 
um, some material, some lectures and um, communicate also with professors, you can send a message there as well. Now I'm going to see one of this uh, recorded lecture. Um, after I finish my study, I usually go to work, but uh, if I have a free time, uh, I like to play piano. And let me show you this. So this is the favorite uh, place uh, of my home. Piano was uh, the first thing, uh, really big thing I bought in Germany. I, I sold my uh, piano in Russia and bought here this one. And actually I was living in a very small apartment those days and I didn't have enough space for this and I tried to move the other things and uh, find enough space for, for my piano. And uh, yeah, for example, this picture is from Russia. This is uh, St. Petersburg, and my favorite, one of my favorite places there. Earphones, I can plug it in so neighbors won't hear my playing. I love the thing about digital piano. And yeah, I have also some uh, notes from, from Russia. Um, for example, Rachmaninoff, I don't know if I will be able one day to play it because it's, it's extremely difficult and you have to have a really huge power for this. Yeah, let me maybe play you a little bit. I will play this one, it looks not so difficult. because it's like like many pages and it will take a lot of time and uh, actually yeah today I have to go to work and I cannot play uh, more so yeah now it's time to work so after the lecture I usually go to work I work by Infinian as a working student so let me show you this place student you can apply for a student position and uh, you don't need a special um, experience for this. This is how I did, so I also applied for a such position in Infineon and I was lucky, I get it and yeah, I will show you in a few minutes how it looks like. Germany I wanted to find a job here but I had no idea where to start so enrolling in um, Hochschule master program was a great opportunity to uh, improve knowledge to socialize to acquire a new specialty and also this is a great way to gradually familiarize myself uh, with uh, working uh, 
environment in Germany. I cannot film because it's a restricted area and uh, see you after. At the end of the year you can work with a tax advisor and uh, expect uh, the refund for some work and study related expenses. So after the work uh, usually I meet uh, with the friends or study at home. Uh, but today the first option and a colleague of uh, mine is organizing a get-together with uh, friends uh, to play uh, board games. It's gonna be a lot of fun and uh, there also will be uh, my fellow student from the same program as mine. pieces with more or less text, depending on your preference. So the party has been finished and uh, I go to home. This was a lot of fun, but I lost this game. At least I um, learned a new one and next time I can show better results. Um, before finishing my video, I would like uh, to give some uh, tips uh, to uh, people who are gonna study in Germany. First of all, make sure you have enough uh, food uh, to survive Sundays because all groceries are closed. I don't know how it works in your countries, but for me it was a surprise because in Russia you can buy everything 24 hours, 7 days. Yeah, instead of uh, shopping you can go to Pinakatek and uh, it costs only one euro on Sunday and it was to with it. Also, um, when I decided uh, to study in Germany and I didn't know where to start, I just checked all universities' uh, websites and it took uh, a lot of time. Instead of doing this, I could visit the art platform where you can just insert all the criteria, like in which city you want to study, which program, which subjects, on which language and so on and uh, it will show you all options you can have. Don't make my mistake and uh, use it. Third tip, yeah, when you come to Germany you probably will have to buy a SIM card and uh, connect to internet. For this purpose I would uh, recommend to use uh, check24.de website it can give you really good cash back on your card. My last tip related to sport activities. I discovered it recently and um, I use it. So many health uh, insurance uh, provide a good uh, discount for some sport activities. Check sport activities with your insurance you chose. For example, I'm doing Pilates and I will get 80% uh, cash back if I visit at 8 of 10 classes. And uh, the last tip, if you uh, um, will decide to apply for a job here in Germany, maybe this is very obvious, but please use uh, keywords in your CV because even if you are an amazing specialist, if you know a lot of things and you just simply don't write the keywords in your CV, the automatic system which scan CVs just won't uh, notice you and you will never get an answer. Yeah, also always write a cover letter. It will be really good if you write it individually for every company you apply there is a high possibility that the employer will uh, notice you. So I think that's it. I hope um, these tips will help you. Uh, you will be enrolled in the university you wish and uh, wish you a lot of uh, fun and uh, good luck. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let us know about your favorite parts in the comment section below. If you want to get featured in the series, write us an email at parat at paratingermany.com and we will get back to you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.